Passive income has often been touted as the ultimate goal in personal finance, a way to earn money effortlessly, without lifting a finger. It sounds like a dream come true, doesn't it? Countless videos and advertisements promote the idea that millionaires have multiple streams of income, urging you to follow suit. However, there's a catch, passive income doesn't really exist. Sure, there are alternative ways to make money that deviate from the traditional 9-to-5 grind, where the correlation between time spent working and compensation is more linear. But the majority of so-called passive income strategies advertised online, especially on platforms like YouTube, are often misrepresented or completely fabricated to prey on those in dire financial situations. While some of these strategies may have their merits, it's important to recognize their limitations and potential pitfalls. Passive income is commonly used to describe an income stream that is somewhat self-sustaining, requiring minimal active involvement once set up. It typically refers to either investment income or entrepreneurial income. While there's nothing inherently wrong with these approaches, they don't eliminate the need for effort. There's a simple explanation for why any promise of high returns without any effort is mostly a gimmick. Let's start by examining investment income. This involves owning assets such as stocks, bonds, or rental properties that generate a yield. As an investment-focused channel, I certainly advocate for making money through investments. However, as a passive income strategy, it comes with a significant caveat, you need money to begin with. Four out of the seven income streams often attributed to millionaires, dividend, rental, interest, and capital gains income, require a substantial amount of initial capital to earn meaningful returns. Achieving such savings from regular income is a challenge most individuals may never overcome. Trading bots, despite claims from certain YouTubers about earning significant sums, simply do not work. This is nothing more than survivorship bias, akin to advertising a roulette wheel with favorable odds. So, it's important to approach the notion of passive income with a degree of skepticism, especially when it emphasizes the effortless nature of investment income. While it can eventually free up your schedule once you accumulate enough capital, reaching that point requires diligent savings, which may elude the average person. Now, let's turn to the remaining streams of income often associated with millionaires, royalties, licensing and business profits, also known as entrepreneurial income. It's somewhat comical to consider entrepreneurial income as passive. According to a survey by the New York Enterprise Report, the average small business owner works twice as hard as their employees, with 25% clocking in at least 60 hours a week. Leaving your 9-to-5 job for a business venture in hopes of more freedom is unlikely to yield the desired outcome. Nevertheless, there are online ventures advertised as self-sustaining businesses that require minimal effort on your part. They claim you can set it up and let it generate money on autopilot. These include dropshipping stores, ad placement strategies, selling digital products, content creation, and convoluted pyramid schemes promising financial freedom if you recruit others. While there may be some truth and validity to these strategies, attaining a truly effortless income stream is rare. Let's take dropshipping as an example. The basic idea is to create an online storefront selling products manufactured and shipped by a third party. You earn a markup without dealing with logistics. Setting up a basic store can be done in a few hours and at a relatively low cost. However, the ease of entry into this market means you'll face intense competition, with numerous sellers offering the same products. This oversupply often outweighs the demand, making it challenging to generate meaningful profits. The same holds true for any digital product, where you must navigate a crowded field of content creators. Nearly 90% of e-commerce stores fail within the first four months, including those with unique product offerings. Those who succeed often put in more time and effort, 
actively working to customize their products, secure new drops before competitors, and market their goods. In other words, they actively earn their income. While you may enjoy some recurring revenue if you have a successful product, sustaining that income requires ongoing effort. For instance, revenue from YouTube, while considered passive by some, necessitates consistent content creation to maintain a steady stream of income. So why do we see others promoting these seemingly effortless strategies? The answer is simple. One of the most successful passive income strategies is selling passive income strategies themselves. Finance videos like, 9 Passive Income Ideas, How I Make $27,000 a Week, garner substantial attention because nothing is more financially appealing than making money without exerting any effort. Advertisements showcasing dropshipping success stories exist not because dropshipping actually makes people rich, but because those promoting it earn money by selling the idea itself through sign-up fees for their courses or academies. In reality, you are likely to make less money per hour using these strategies compared to driving for a service like Uber. While I've sounded somewhat negative thus far, my intention is not to discourage you from exploring passive income strategies if that's what you desire. If you believe there is demand for an online course or an ebook on a subject you're an expert in, by all means, go for it. Pursuing your passion in this way may result in some financial gain. However, it's crucial to approach these endeavors with realistic expectations. Passive income simply means front-loading your work, not eliminating it. Most strategies require ongoing effort to sustain the income you generate. Your success will depend on your dedication, seizing opportunities, and, most importantly, putting in the effort. I don't mean to criticize those who use the term, passive income, or freely share ideas for making extra cash. There is value in exploring entrepreneurial ventures to build supplementary income. If you choose to pursue these strategies, do so with a clear understanding of the time and capital required, and determine whether the potential rewards are worth it. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay safe out there.